you know every once in a while you come across a shoe and you go oh! and for that split second you think I have to have those hi guys welcome back so today I thought right what do I do a video on today and I thought I've been doing clothes quite a bit the past few videos so I thought I know shoes it's like a one-size-fits-all when it comes to shoes so I thought let me do a video on the best summer shoes that's out at the moment that are under $200 or like 200 and under same thing anyway I hope you like this video and I'll just get stuck in <laughs> okay so I just basically went all week online and looked at so many summer shoes and sandals because I think that now that it's like right in the beginning of June this is the month where people are either planning to go on holiday they're doing barbecues going to barbecues they're going to summer weddings blah 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 you name it it's happening isn't it this month okay so first up is a shoe that I spotted on Nordstrom now it's called the I have to look at my notes it's called the Amanda block heel sandal I want to show you a picture of it here it's what I love about this shoe is the material it's like that raffia it's like that raffia material which is usually synonymous with wicker bags which are so in at the moment aren't they but you rarely see it sort of done in a shoe form and I really liked how comfortable this is from the heel standpoint and it's just a simple easy thin lace up and I just think it just looks so so pretty it just looks like the kind of shoe that you would wear that all summer and it's almost like a summer version of a nude because of that material okay so espadrilles espadrilles to me are like the staple shoe of summer so I came up with a few shoes I thought were absolutely fantastic various different price points first up is a shoe that I already own and I'm gonna just grab it here so I have these I got these from Zara oh god look at that satin 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 let's just leave it at that satin we'll just stop there satin next shoe <laughs> I was drawn to the simplicity of this shoe I have huge feet I wear size US 10 UK 8 euro 41 big butt load can canoe sized feet that's me so i at first i thought god i'm gonna order these cross my fingers but you know what they actually look good on i'll insert pictures of me wearing them on my instagram these look so good on and they get so many compliments so zara has these these come in at, i forget but i'll put the price here i know it's under 200 dollars that's for damn sure I saw a version of these on Nordstrom as well and they come in at $88.95 I'm going to show you a picture of them here and they also come in a different color like a nudie beigey color so if you think that the black is a bit too heavy for summer then just get the nude version just sticking with espadrilles you know those typical ones that are just completely flat not double platformed or anything just flat to the ground and they just cover your foot like these these are from Zara I know I'm going to show you something else you don't think everything I get is from Zara these are from so how do you say this Solidus, Soludos, Soludus, Solid, Solid, let's just say Solids, uh, the Soludos Espadrilles, those. So I got these, I think it was either last year or the year before that, and I still reach for these every single summer. I saw a pair, because I actually want a pair in black, because I think the black version goes with everything. But Farfetch has a pair, and I don't even want to tell you a lot about this, because I don't want you to get it, but... I mean, yeah, I do want you to get it, but I sort of want it first. <laughs> they are by Castaner. You know I love my Castaners. If you follow me on my social, you already know how I feel about Castaner espadrilles. They have a pair that are called, let me see, they're called the Can Sandals, and they're $139, $131. Not cheap, I know. The quality, the quality... Anyway, those I love those and I like that you can wear them with anything dresses skirts high low in terms of the hemline those would look really good you know if you want to wear like a denim skirt so a short and you're thinking what can I wear because my legs are all out bung a pair of those on you are good to go now if you're the type of girl that doesn't like to have their toes out then if you like a good classic shoe or a loafer rather then I would highly suggest GH Bass you know Bass, B-A-S-S, -S, love their loafers. They are absolutely so comfortable. And to this day, I own two pairs. I digress. Anyway, I saw online they have a mule version. And I actually shot someone a couple of summers ago wearing the mule version. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And I also went to the home of, you know that shoe designer slash Brazilian model? 
I'm going to butcher her name and I really apologize my lovely I think it's um Marie I'm going to write on here her you know her you know her shoes beautiful girl I actually think she reminds me of Alexa Chung like a baby version I went to her home about two years ago before maybe three before she actually started to launch her shoe line and I did an interview on her I actually linked to that below if you're interested the point is she had those loafers the open back GH bass loafers stunning we were, we just got into a chit chat about those about those meals and saying how classic they are and how good they look anyway you understand what I'm saying <laughs> saw these from Topshop. You know every once in a while you come across a shoe and you go oh! and for that split second you think I have to have those. Look at these from Topshop. Absolutely gorgeous. They look like that sort of raffia straw material. I'm going to look it up and see if it is. I'm looking to the side to see the information. They are $80, to $80 for them which is not too bad but I love that pointy toe and that block heel with the thin strap that goes around it back of it. I love that kind of combination because to me that just looks very, it kind of looks a bit chungy, you know, like Alexa Chunk sort of, because it's just got that kind of mod 60s vibe. But the fact that they just did it in the treatment of what looks like a sort of, again, that raffia wicker material, it's perfect for summer. Absolutely perfect. It's a good thing I've not gone into Topshop before I actually put this video up because I may actually be going, and here they are. <laughs> because I think they look absolutely gorgeous. I love that little flower treatment on them and they look like a pair of shoes that you would be so lucky to find at a vintage shop. Anyway, so sticking with sort of girly, very feminine shoes, I saw this pair from Urban Outfitters. Look at this. Look at that baby blue colour. I know, I know, I know. It's, it's good, isn't it? No, I'm sorry. I just saw that and I thought, this looks so, so good. They're called the Crosswalk Ruffle Sandals. They come in at $180. I thought these looked like the perfect shoe for any summer parties, any sort of date nights. Um, you're just going out for a night out with your girlfriend and you want something that's really strappy and feminine looking. And look at that block heel. That is gonna keep you so comfortable and wobble free compared to like a pair of stilettos. I love those and I thought there was such a nice price point. They look like they would be something that you would get from maybe a shop that's sort of more expensive than from Urban Outfitters. They don't even look like they're from Urban Outfitters, but I love shoes like that. And the fact that they're baby blue, don't be scared because I know some people think, oh, baby blue, but what am I going to wear with it? Remember that video I did for you showing about um, mixing prints and picking the base colour? Well, look at that base colour, which is basically essentially baby blue. And just think about something that you could be wearing that has a little bit of baby blue in it. You could even wear it with a pair of like, I wouldn't wear it with dark jeans. I would wear it like a pair of like faded jeans. You could wear them obviously a little bit distressed if you want, but cropped because you want that whole strap to show because that just adds to that dainty effect or you can wear it with like really like midi dresses and just pick up anything that you've got in your closet that maybe has, if not that baby blue in it, then maybe it's got a little bit of a complementary color. And obviously white as well, because that always acts like a neutral, doesn't it? So that would look so fresh. White with those baby blue ruffle heels, perfect. All right, so everyone knows that Gingham is in. I am not gonna talk about that too much. Now look at these I saw from Shopbop. They are $110 and they have that Gingham look. They have that Gingham look, but it's in a shoe that looks very classic. I talk about classic all the time because I think that when you get shoes that have a sort of um, a timeless silhouette to them, you can get away with embellishments and patterns on them because the actual structure and shape of the shoe itself is something that will stand the test of time. I like that little bit of a heel. So if you're someone that doesn't really like heels and can't walk around in them, these are to me are the most wearable heel size and shape and, and height as well. So that is a nice way to get in on that trend and just give you a little bit of lift, but not too much. And I saw these, these nude block heel sandals. And I, to me, think that these are the type of shoes, they're up there with espadrilles, they are the type of heel now that to me has just become a staple. Every single summer you see a shoe like this at various price points. I picked these out because I just loved how they looked. I've always liked a good block heel type of sandal that has that sort of strappy type of shoe detail. I got these from Topshop approximately 
four, three years ago. And I still, to this day, wear these. I okay, so sticking with the last sort of block heel style shoe, Sam Edelman has a pair on sale and I could not show you these. And you know why? One, I've always liked that style shoe because it keeps coming back every season. And the other reason I like it, and it comes in different colors, is because I actually loved the, um, what do they call them? Brother, Brother Villiers? Brother v my fucking pronunciations are so crap today. Those with the fur, I love this. I love them, but the price of them, the God, the price kills me. So I'm thinking about, you could do this too. You could do a DIY, get those Sam Edelmans and just go to a haberdashery, get some beautiful full like bow fur and put that over the front. Got the exact same shoe. <laughs> Another shoe is really good for those who don't like their toes out or if you just love a sleek pointy shoe is a mule. Something's flat and it kind of reminds me of a shoe that you would get um, from places like maybe India or from Morocco. I have these by AGL and I'll insert pictures of me wearing them. I actually DIY'd these slightly. I put these strings through them. I found these from, I think I got these from like a, um, you know, a shoe shop that sells like that does like shoe shining. They had like packets of laces and I saw these. These originally came with a thick wide um, strap with a buckle and I didn't like it because I thought it cut off my leg. Anyway, I like the idea of just wearing these through them instead, but I saw some copies of these called the Kalia Lace Up Flats. So they got them in black and they got them in pink. And if I'm correct, they also are on sale. So score, score and score. Anyway, I saw this absolutely gorgeous pair of wedges. I love the strap that goes across the wide crisscross and that gorgeous dusky sort of nude color. I love that triple strap. You know, those three little, obviously you know what three means. I love that triple strap. I thought that looked so unusual. It's always just one. So just to see it done like that, it's just a nice little detail, a little bit of a twist on the usual. And I think that's a really, really pretty shoe to wear. Again, you can wear it for during the day, but I think it transitions easily into night as well because it's a little bit more smart. Okay, I think out of all the shoes in this video, my favorites for a pair of going out shoes are these. How gorgeous are these? I know the first thing you think of is Gucci because they're the ones that sort of came up, at least in the most recent times, not from going back, but they've come up with these gorgeous, these shoes, these gorgeous satin mustard yellow. Not that bright buttercup yellow, but that mustardy wearable, gold yeah really rich and deep oh it's so pretty almost reminds me of turmeric or something those look at this i'm literally talking myself into getting those shoes whilst i'm talking to you right now now that is how committed i am to shopping and just having an issue with, with buying too many damn shoes the heel because it has that slight flare it goes out of the bottom oh i love these these you could just slip these on Again on Nordstrom, I found another pair of slightly pointy mules if you just want something to slide in. It's got like a lattice or the open lattice crisscrossing on the foot so it's breathable as well. And I like that these are under $100. These look like something you could easily slip on and just go. That's what I like about these particular kind of shoes. You don't have to like lace up or buckle and uh, uh, come on, what are you doing Karen? I'll be there in a minute. You know, it's not that kind of shoe, just uh, uh, out. You know, just slip it on and you're out the door. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I saw these shoes. Now, these are by Dr. Martins. Now, the moment I saw these, I thought of my Celines. I don't have those Celines anymore, but I'll show you a picture of what they look like. These are so similar to those, but for a fraction of the price point. Oh my gosh, the lighting has changed because the sun has just gone in. Anyway, anyway, I loved these. I think these are the kind of shoes that you wear if you are sort of... And I don't want to say the anti-frilly girl, but you're much more of an androgynous, a little bit of a tomboy. You've got a more of an edgy style to your wardrobe and that's your aesthetic. Then you will love a pair of shoes like these. Now, if you're the type of girl who has feet that you don't mind having them all out and it's the height of summer, I'm talking like 100 degrees and you like barely there sandals, really flat. I personally like these Madewells. In fact, I love these Madewells so much that I can't find the other side of them. So I don't know, they're in there somewhere. I have been wearing them whenever I go on holiday. The first things I grab are these. When it's really hot, the first, thing I, the first things I grab are these. These are just my go-to sandals. I highly, highly, I cannot say enough good stuff about them. So if you're interested in looking for something that's like barely there, but has that gladiator feel, 
I recommend these. Oh, I just think it looks so pretty. Why am I doing it? I can't believe I just went like that. Anyway, I just love that look. And I saw another pair. In fact, they're all over the place, but Topshop has a version as well. They come in brown. I'll let you know if they come in black as well. But the Topshop versions come in at $68, and I love those, and I think those look really, really good as well. Anyway, I think that is it. That is my lot. Okay, so time out. I just want to say a massive thank you for everyone who has been subscribing to my channel. I am, I just want to say thank you. And um, I procrastinated for a long time on, on getting back into it. And now that I am, I am absolutely loving it. And I feel like I'm in a groove. <laughs> you know, no, sorry. I feel like I'm in a groove. Like I feel like, um, someone said to me on snapchat i feel like karen you're in your zone now and um, i think it was a missing link between blogging for several years doing instagram as well and then there was something else and i think the missing component was youtube because i love to chat in case you hadn't noticed and you can't see that in the silence of photography and um i just glad that i get a chance just to just to chat with you just to literally when you lot leave comments below I'm literally chatting with you and I really appreciate every single one of you and um, yeah it just means a lot and thank you for being around so um, yeah I'm right I didn't mean to get so emotional it was just supposed to be like a little thank you and that's it anyway I am done I hoped that you found this video helpful give this video a thumbs up if you liked it please share it with your friends and I would love it if you did subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um, I think that's it and just follow me on Instagram and Snapchat because those are the two other sort of video and photo areas that I live between Friday and Friday of when these videos go up so yeah that's that's it for now i will see oh god it feels so far away to see you next week friday it's like oh god i wish we could see each other again sooner but i don't know i'm slowly starting to think about should i do two videos a week so i don't know i don't know i don't know yet but it's it's in the back of my mind let's put it that way yeah i'll see you next week bye just so it's all more more god Look these and everything, everything, every single. Oh God, here we, ding ding. And sticking with the similar type of shape, I saw these from Shop. What? Sticking with that similar type of shape, I. Saw... Anyway, those are eighty-five dollars, and I love that triple strap. You know those three little. Obviously, you know what three means, and I love the Rebecca Minkoff ones too. Oh my God, I need to put that damn phone off. And these are 115 pounds, which I, pounds? Karen, you're in New York. Three years ago-ish, and I still really, really efficient. I thought it cut off my leg. Oh my God, I got to turn the phone sound off. Hold on. So not that bright butter, butter scarf. What's butter scarf, for God's sakes, Karen?